uh, sports influence on society, and particularly football. And when we heard that Imagine Entertainment was developing a film with Pele, we reached out right away and met with Pele actually during the Olympics in London. And we talked in depth with, um, with Pele about the sort of wash of concentration and calm that he felt in the early years playing with Jinka. Uh, this sort of mindset of flow or being in the zone. And it occurred to us that it'd be interesting to tell a sports movie using a superhero origins narrative structure. In other words, have all the play action and the emotional swells of a classic sports story, but really peg it to this uh, deeply psychological journey where this kid needs to harness and learn how to control his gift uh, at an early age. Uh, in order to save his country in much the same way that a superhero might need to learn to harness and control his superpower to save the world. And everybody got excited about this idea, and uh, here we are today. And I would just add to that, that other than lofty ideas of superheroes, you know, Pele, uh, in a very real way, his power was the Shinga that had uh, this amazingly rich history in Brazil and all forms of creative expression from samba to capoeira to football. And we, we love this period of his life because, not only because of all the great football, but because it was a time when we saw Pele maturing at such a rapid pace. And in a way that really paralleled the maturing of Brazil during the 1950s. So it, it, had a, it gave us the opportunity to tell the story of not only the birth of a legend, but also the birth of a nation, a Brazilian national identity. Great. Pelé, uh, I think it must have been surreal to watch yourself on the big screen. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience? Oh, yes, yes. First of all, of course, I want to thank you very much with everyone, everyone who made it possible to talk about the part of my life. Uh, of course, when they have the, the, um, the first call, the request to talk about the new film, I say, well, one more film. I didn't know exactly what kind of film you know, they they gonna offer me. Because they say, listen, I, 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 I did a film with the, the Max Van Sido, I did a film with Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> I did a film with Michael Caine. No, uh, I, I make a joke and say, but it was serious. Because uh, one of the you know, best directors of the world my, was my, you know, my, my, my teacher, my coach in the film. And I say, my God, what, what, what do you want to do? When I, when I read the, the the history, I say, oh, this is a little bit different than what I used to do. Because uh, all the, the other film, the commentary or, or film was the, the Pelé stars, or the, the goals of Pelé, or the World Cup, everything. This was the real base what uh, what happened with my life. We, we saw, was, uh, I was emotional many times because I saw my father, unbelievable, the head member, you know, to come in this time. Some of the, my friends, the kids who was there, you know, to represent, I start to remember because the, the, the fat boy, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he will see this film and gonna punish me when they see it. <laughs> because it's, it, was, it was almost uh, Israel was his name, you know? But it uh, was, was emotion, it was a big emotion because uh, we really, you know, show to the, the, the new generation who everything is possible in the life. If you believe, if you trust, if you have somebody who know what can help with you, then could help. This you can do. I thanks of course to my father, my father passed away, but I am sure he is very happy in this moment. Thank you. Thank you very much.